Hello everyone. Okay, so today I am going to try to film a very quick um, video. I have someone, I got the new Laura Mercier Artist palette. Um, palette for eyes. It's uh, $48 at the store. Um, I'm going to do a comparison to the Laura Pro palette. Now, a lot of people have asked me how this is in comparison to the palette. Now, I'm going to give my review on this Laura Mercier palette, and then also I'm going to do, at the same time, a comparison. Um, I have used this palette. I used it a little bit today, one of the colors. I've used this palette for three days now, and the bottom, my final line is, is that I'm not impressed. I feel like... I'm just going to show you to you and then I'll explain why. Okay, so here are the colors. It the top row is all shimmer shades and the bottom row is all matte shades. Okay, the palette itself has like a cushy snake skin top. Um, it's relatively thin. Here it is in comparison. The Lorac Pro is thinner. Um, it's shorter than the Lorac Lorac Pro. Lorac Pro is longer. Now I have a full review on the Lorac Pro palette, so if you'd like to see that, I'll link it here. Um, so I'm not going to go too much into the Lorac Pro palette. I'm really just going to kind of compare the shades that I think are the same, and then tell you why I think the Lorac Pro is just better. They're not really the same, but I just think for the money, I just... I'll tell you why I don't like this. Okay, so... In theory, this looks like it would be amazing. The colors are chocolate, African, let me just swatch some of these. Chocolate, African violet, which is a very pretty purple color right here. It has like a gold duochrome to it. Sable, which is like a taupey gray. Guava, which is a light pink champagne. Cameo, which is a very sheer pinky peach color right here and then the last one is sunlit which is like a golden champagne color right here okay um so those are for the shimmer shades which here are some of them right here swatched on my hand they look great right here are the last two right here okay these are Great, only in theory. The shimmer shades completely disappear on your lid if you blend. You, I have to put all the other colors on before them, and then I have to pat them on with a primer underneath. I've been using um, Maybelline's color tattoos and then pressing the shimmer shades into my eyelid. Um, I don't have time for $50 to babysit any shade like eyeshadows so in that reason I just don't think it's worth it because the bottom row is all matte and although the matte shades are awesome which I'll swatch them for you they're just it's just not good enough to spend fifty dollars on because I have the Lorac Pro and I feel like I get all the matte shades in it that I need but I will show you how they are different but let me just go ahead and swatch them so then this one down here is Vanilla Nuts I mean who <laughs> names an eyeshadow Vanilla Nuts? I think I'm just going to start texting people, like, just random texts, like, Vanilla Nuts. Okay, and then it's Plum Smoke, which is the color I was most excited about. Cafe Ole. Coffee Ground, which is, like, a darker brown. This is, like, a medium brown. Deep Night. And then Rich Coffee, which is, like, the deepest brown. Okay, so, I'm sorry, my kids were, like, making tons of noise in the background. Okay, so these are the first two shades. This is the Vanilla Nuts, which is an awesome cream color. This is the Plum Smoke, which is a really pretty matte um, color. There are those two swatched right there. That one is very similar to, t to Tease in the Urban Decay palette, and it's not the same as the... Um, mauve in Lorac Pro, but it's similar enough. Okay, I'm going to do, this is Cafe Ole, and this is Ground Coffee. See how dark and really pigmented they are? Cafe Ole and Ground Coffee. 
The matte shades alone are awesome in this palette, but I just can't justify spending that much for the matte shades. Okay, this is the Deep Night, and then this is the Rich Coffee, which is supposed to be a dark brown, but it's very, very black. So I will swatch those two right next to each other. That's the Deep Night, and that's the on top is the Rich Coffee. Okay, so as far as the matte shades, I found that those are very creamy and they blend well. I mean, look how pigmented these shades are. So, yes, I mean, these are awesome matte shades, and I really like them, um, but I feel like, like I said, if the top row is basically useless, you know, I have other matte shades that I like that I can use that I don't, I can't justify spending the, that amount of money for this palette. Um, I was most excited about this African Violet color and then this Sable color, which is a really pretty taupe. Uh, and I really like this Sunlit color. They just don't last on my eyes. They lasted a little bit better on me than other friends that I have spoken to about the shadow. I am happy, but as far as just keeping them for that, I don't know. I just, I can't justify it. So those are the shades swatched. I'm trying to do this as the sun is going down, so I hope that it turns out. Okay, now I'm going to go into the Laura and swatch the shades that I think are similar. Okay, so African Violet, I'm going to swatch Pewter and Garnet next to African Violet so that you can see that, like how those are in comparison. Okay, so this is that Sable color right there from the Laura Mercier palette, and then this is the Pewter color from the Lorac Pro. This is the Garnet color from Lorac Pro, and then this is the African Violet color. And this is the rich, or like the chocolate color. So as you can see, the Lorac Pro is more buttery, and they are different shades. So you are getting different shades. This is obviously a lighter color from Laura Mercier. This is um, a unique color because it is a purple with, you know, some really pretty rose gold reflex so the garnet doesn't really come close but I just wanted to show you guys the comparison swatches so that you would be able to see how different they were if you were interested in getting the Laura Mercier palette now I have seen reviews on this palette and there are a lot of people who are very happy with it so you know if you just take my review for what it is. It's my review. I have talked to at least two of my other friends that I know who have gotten this palette and they are having the same problem I am. Just not finding that it's worth the money um, for the texture of the shades. Okay, so I'm going to go into Nude and Champagne from this palette and just swatch those next to the other ones from the Laura Mercier. They are just heads and shoulders more pigmented and just different shades. Okay, so this is the nude and this is the champagne um, from the Lorac Pro. And then that's in comparison to right next to it, which is the sunlit and the guava. So can't even barely see those, but you can see these. Even in person, they're rich and creamy. They blend, but they don't blend away. So just different shades, different colors. The, the ones from the Lorac palette are a little bit more. Let me just swatch the light bronze. Here's light bronze from that palette. I'm going to swatch it next to. Light bronze is similar to the guava shade in that palette. So that's light bronze from the Lorac Pro. I think the guava one's over you here. You want to keep the palette for the matte shades. I totally understand, but um, just for me, it's just not worth it. Okay, now I'm going to swatch the taupe color and the sable color so you can see that in comparison to the um, Cafe Olay and Ground Coffee. Okay, so taupe, sable, and espresso. So we're going to do taupe, sable, espresso. Okay, I think they're swatched, I guess, 
swatched they do kind of resemble each other okay so this is the cafe away from laura mercier that's the taupe from black pro that's the sable and that's the espresso these two are very similar this is the coffee ground from laura mercier this is the um sable or espresso from the uh Lorac pro so like I said, between these two shades, I feel like I can come up with this shade, and between this one, it's good enough for this shade. Um, I, I do like the consistency of the Lorac Pro better, but these are more pigmented as far as smoother, less powdery than the Lorac Pro. But the Lorac Pro shimmer shades are way better than the Laura Mercier shimmer shades. So, in exchange, you, you get, get 16 smaller shades in the Lorac Pro, and 12 you get shades... Um, bigger sized in the Laura Mercier so in comparison that is the two of them as far as shades and sizes black is the only last one to do in comparison to the Laura Mercier so in comparison to the Laura Mercier it, there's no comparison Laura Mercier's rich coffee which is supposed to be a dark brown is far more pigmented pigmented than any swatch that I can get of the black one from the Lorac Pro. So as far as I said, I feel like the swatches from the Laura Mercier bottom row are like hands down amazing, um, but the Lorac Pro seems to just have some better shimmer shades and all around I just find the Lorac Pro easier to work with. I hope this was helpful. I feel like maybe I jumbled and confused it a whole lot. Oh, I know what I wanted to show. I wanted to show you a swatch of the mauve color and compare it, the mauve color in this one in comparison to the plum smoke. So let me just do that really quick. Um, similar. Okay, so this is the mauve color from the Lorac Pro. And then this is the plum smoke. So do you see how similar those are? And I didn't think they really were. So too similar, I feel like. You know what? In really doing this review, I think I even convinced myself even more that the Lorac Pro is similar enough that you, if you had that, you wouldn't really need the Laura Mercier palette. Um, although, I will just say one last time that the Laura Mercier palette has really great matte shades um, in comparison to the matte shades provided in the Lorac Pro, but the shimmer shades are just not where they need to be as far as I find the butterny, butteriness, the smooth consistency, the blendability, and the pigmentation that the Lorac Pro palette has. So if I were going to go back in time and only purchase one of these palettes, I would purchase the Lorac Pro. Um, I will probably be sending back my Laura Mercier palette. I feel like I have a lot of other things that I can get with that money. Um, if I didn't say it already, the Laura Pro palette is $42, Laura Mercier palette is $48 um, at Sephora. Okay, so I hope this review was helpful, and if you have any comments or... If you have any comments about it or questions, then just leave them in the comments below, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.